Yo, what is up, guys? We here with this level 50 PVE build. So let's get into it. So we are an ultimate margin, which means we use strength more than um soul, right? Because soul is for energy, and we're more of a physical class, but we still use flame shower breeze for PVP because the damage over time lasts way longer than dynamite, double dynamite horn, and can out damage it and cluster bomb well we're not into pvp so let's skip that for now so dodge rate ultimate margins don't have the highest dodge rate but this will really help you like dodge those skills like paralysis and stuff you know dodge some basics but you aren't really really gonna dodge a lot but you will dodge some constitution as we all know he has of well tanks like margin and stuff and margin is a really balanced character that has enough damage and enough tankiness to help itself whether it's killing boss monsters and stuff so you know that is gonna help you so the physical defense especially in these high level areas most of the monsters do physical damage and even most of their empowered skills are physical damage so that is gonna help you ultimate spiritual resistance this is gonna help you with Paralysis and well, I'm not really sure about stat resistance. Last I heard, it was kind of bugged, but I think. Well, let me see. Yeah, but I think that it's like resistance to paralysis and stuff like that. I'm not really sure, but I know it was bugged. But I think it's like resistance to paralysis, confusion and stuff like that. So yeah abnormal status attacks it's probably one of these things I have to check in on it but for now let's continue this wouldn't really help you at these high level areas so I just don't really use it this will help you to provoke is really useful so let's see you go in this area where you know this boss will destroy you and he has lots of monsters around him and you don't want to like get in too close because besides the monsters that follow the boss other monsters will aggro onto you too you can always use provoke and drag out the boss with his like probably about two minions one minion and deal with them separately than having to just go go in and try to like kill all five of them in which case you might probably die no matter what class you are unless you're a dende or probably mm, then they are one of those Namekian classes that could like heal insanely or oh, a very high boost AOE class like Korean Hermit or Tuzu Hermit so yeah Spirit Up so this increases our soul which will help us with Flame Shower Breeze the damage over time so this will basically do if you do the division, the mats probably like an extra 3000 damage for you over time in addition to the initial damage and then you have these two skills here to burst them down quickly and with 22 physical crit I do crit a lot and with this energy crit I do crit a lot for, and it's really surprising to me that I crit a lot with these stats but yeah I do so yeah that's that coming into here you want to max dynamite horn, you want to max flame shower breeze, and you want to max double dynamite horn, and you want to come in here, you want to put 4 points into miraculous fitness, attack and defense properties, yeah, you're going to put 4 points into that, 1 point into this, 4 into this, constitution again and energy, you know, constitution as I said, the heart of the margin. HP tankiness and you do not want to train miraculous body I accidentally trained miraculous body you do not want to train miraculous body it's not really worth it I mean 400 HP isn't gonna save you at anywhere at all when you could have put another point in the, I don't know when you could have put another point in the miraculous recovery do not train miraculous body this is more worth it than putting a point into this and you know we want to max out status resistance max out constitution max out musical mastery and now coming down here oh i forgot to cover this part you want to max out ultimate skill durations you know what that means this 
28% more seconds that damage over time is going to last. Your buffs, 28% of the time is going to last longer. And that is really OP. So, yeah. Pure margin. Boom. You want to get pure margin. You want to max planet burst and genocide blast. Because if there's one thing I learned, pure margin for like areas like this, where you know more monsters are grouped up, and where you can just planet burst spam and genocide blast spam, is really useful. You also want to put one point in the Karakan. Now, I don't really like Karakan, but you know, it's, it's useful. It's useful. Karakan times three. Karakan times four. Karakan times five. Karakan. Okay. So that's the max and you see my energy crit went up to 17 as I went up the board. So yeah. But you don't want to go up to times 5 though. Your LP will go down faster and you can even recover it back. So yeah. Even with all this constitution it will. And as for me, I have Dragon King Strength. Boom. Constitution. Boom. Focus. Boom, so as you all know, my stats are gonna go up, plus pure margin, boom. And with all these stats, when it really just comes on the PvE, it's just like this. Just do a little quick demonstration. Hopefully I get two, two crits, so you all can see what I mean. Alright, so I see three, okay, not three monsters, probably like, I don't know. Okay, so let's aggro two of these crabs. So you crab, boom. And you crab. So let's say I use plan burst. Okay. Planet burst. Boom. Boom. And look at that. And they're gone. Planet burst basically did 2300. And genocide blast. After I used Planet Burst and Genocide Blast, Genocide Blast was already back up. Because you know it's a really spammable skill, especially if you have Coolong Reduction Rings, which I do not have, but I plan to put some money into it. And now let's get down to gear. Now the best gear you can get at level 50, and of course at all levels, is crafted gear. And I believe that it's combat gear. Oh. Where Fairland is at. Oh, one sec. Yeah. Yeah. And it is combat gear. So, you're gonna get for level 50, combat top, whether it's M, H, uh, I guess. I don't know about Namics. I know Margins, Fighters, Swordsmen. The best gear for them from. I don't know, I believe it's from level 30, you can start getting combat gear, and it is crafted, it's from level 30 to 70, combat gear is the best, it's better than legendary gear, and it is crafted, and it's really, kinda really, expensive, but once you just like farm items and, what do you call it, dismantle them, and you get the, what would you call it, for crafting reagents and stuff, you're gonna be able to craft things pretty quickly. And it isn't very hard. Well, I bought mine, so yeah. I bought mine and I upgraded it. So, combat gear 17, constitution 12. Well, this is. But yeah, the best level 50 or 70 gear is the combat gear. And they're different types. So, this is combat gear at level 60, it's ultimate combat gear, and at level 70, I forgot the name, but it's another type of combat gear. So, I hope you all enjoyed this video, breaking down that skill build. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace later. Also, be sure to drop a like. If you're new to the channel, you subscribe. Really would appreciate it. And be sure to check out the links down below in the description box. See you all in the next one. Peace later.
tutto. Oh, prova di un sabbia 